Hey guys, what's going on? This is another Airsoft Dude 1 production. Today, on New Year's Day, I'm going to be doing the video review of my Pararescue Men style loadout. Nor am I claiming this to be a Pararescue Men loadout exactly. This is my take on it, plus a couple things. Obviously, Pararescue Men don't use 1911's grenades or dump pouches, but this is what I am, uh, this is my spin on it. So thanks for watching, guys. Starting off with a rifle so I can get it out of the way, it's a KWA Gen 1 uh, uh, 16 inch uh, barrel with the 10 inch uh, rail system, but the barrel is chopped and threaded so I could put a mark, so I could make this into a Mark 18. I like the Mark 18s personally. Now, with a Voltor stock, I have a 7.4 LiPo in there, SR25 style uh, iron sights, which is chopped so I can add another add a three times magnifier if I choose. Then I've got the A point T1 which is made by GFE, a working laser and a pressure switch flashlight with an all or not all of drab, it's a uh, dark earth or uh, foliage green AFG2. Then like I said the pressure switch is sitting in the rail system and you get a nice choke up on the rifle activate that, activate the laser if I need it, and then I can go down or whatever. And then I have the sling set up for ambi so I can switch over and rotate and fire from this side, rotate over and shoot from this side. And then I'm going to take this off and go up to the helmet. As you can see I put a lot of time and work into this gun and here you, you can hear it. Very good trigger pull, even on a 7.4. Then full auto. Nothing to scream about in the rate of fire, but it's still very good. Uh, the helmet I'm going to take off, and uh, so you can see it better. The helmet itself is a Emerson fast bump helmet. Uh, which is the Opscore replica. It's got a contour mount right there, a contour right here, uh, so I can put it either place. I've got Velcro on the top for a Mantis strobe, patch right there, American flag by uh, Air Splat. Then on the back, I've got a team uh, to show what team I am in a night game. It's on the back, so you can't really see it from the front. It stays there, it just moves around a little bit with paracord, and then a tactical ginger pouch patch that I made. So. Yeah, and then my eye pro that I wear is just shooting uh, glasses that are non-fog, and uh, they they full seal so I can wear them with the mask. They are tinted, so that's nice. But I'm gonna take those off just so I can see a little bit better. Uh, the uh, comm setup that I have is a Midland radio that with the the headset that comes with the Midlands because I'm gonna get some. Uh, Contacts or swords. I think I'm probably going to get swords, but that goes down to the wire, which this is the wire mic with the PTT on it, and the PTT is right behind my singer patch, which is my last name. You can hear the, the click, which is a very confirming click, and then the wire runs down around here a couple times and then to the radio. The nice thing about having the radio on my side is I can adjust the volume, I can turn it up, turn it down turn it off, turn it on, without having to have somebody do it. I can do it myself, right here. I don't really need a PRC-152 or whatever, because this is airsoft. All you need is a radio so you can communicate with your teammates. Going down from the front, I have a source hydration setup. I'll go into that in a minute. I've already done a video review on that, so if you want to go check out that, go uh, check that out. Then I, I run three mid caps, one high cap. I generally don't like to run the high cap if I don't have to. Uh, I generally just put another mid cap in there. I have two uh, KWA K120 mags. They are 120 rounds and they feed flawlessly in this rifle. The rifle, uh, as you can see, it has a tan um, mid cap, or I call them tan mid caps because I've got a tan mag pull on there and a tag tan mag pull on here, then a foliage green on the high cap, so I call that a green high cap. So I can so I know what mag is in the rifle and which one I'm grabbing. The high cap always goes right here, so I have the mid caps farthest from my my reaching hand. 
Now, when you look at the magwell, you'll probably see that it's broken right there. Now, that was kind of on purpose and kind of by my fault. Now, what I was doing was I was trying to bend out the magpole or magwell, sorry, with a uh, set of vice grips so that I could. Uh, so the magwell would be more receptive to more kinds of mags other than KWAs. Because if I use a mag brand mag, it won't feed all the way and, you know, I'll fire, 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 then I'll have to hit it up, fire, 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 and then hit it again. So that gets really annoying. So I tried to fix that, which is kind of nice because I can rock the mag in from a different angle. I can rock it in kind of like an AK-47 or an M14 where it goes in at an angle. So if I'm reached around a, a wall here, I can smack the mag in at an angle. And so that's that. Moving down, like I said, I carry four mags, one in the gun, two, uh, three here, three foot zip tie, and a uh, and a glow stick there. Sorry if my voice is a little raspy because I just got over having the flu, so uh, that's one reason I haven't been out, and another reason is because I am in an ankle cast because my, or an air cast, because at the one of my wrestling meets, I messed up my ankle and I tore a ligament, so I haven't been able to do much. <coughs> so, I have a... 12 gauge airsoft shotgun shell just for look and then here I've got an AFJ ROTC patch obviously because I'm in AFJ ROTC. Moving across here I have a 90 pound max load breakaway uh, Grimlock carabiner that holds my uh, Thunderbee pins and then the wire goes down wraps around and all that. Then here is my IFAC slash multi-purpose uh, pouch. On the outside I've just got two one red one green uh, chem light and then a Kentucky windage patch Immediately when you open this, you're going to see uh, this one thing. This is a really cool thing. It's a Source Hydro water bottle adapter. Now, I've already done a video review on this, but I'll show you what it is. Now, you take that off with the quick detach and pop this water uh, adapter in, and then I can put a water bottle on there and fill up my hydro without having to take my plate carrier off, which is always a benefit because, or which is a huge plus because... Now, if I'm in the middle of a firefight and I run out of water and I get tossed a water bottle, where do I put it? I can just squeeze it in and then jump back to the firefight. Then another thing you're going to see is the red Altoids can. The red Altoids can, as you can very well see here, uh, it's red so you can see it better. And then inside I've just got medical tape as right there. I've got a compression bandage, some eye drops, a soak towel which is really cool. You put it in water and then it absorbs and then it becomes a big towel and I use I have a bunch of those in there and that's not for first well it's for first aid if you know you needed something cold on you but I use it for when I after a game when I get sweaty. Now more inside here you just rip the things and it comes apart that's why it's a nice eye pack and then here I've got one pen a, a, red, a, a black and a blue sharpie. Normally I have a red sharpie in there as well just so I can mark different things off on a map or whatever which I carry right here. Normally I carry the map of the field. Right here I've got a large uh, Phillips head screwdriver and then a um, small Phillips and a small flat head just so I can adjust small things on my gun if I needed it. You know, adjust the sight or whatever. Then here I've got a small uh, ace bandage so I can wrap my ankle uh, if I were to tweak it, or obviously I already have, so I would have an ankle wrap on it, but if uh, for something else. Then here I've got two speed loaders for my mid caps. Back behind here I've got a replacement battery, a backup battery for my Midland radios. It's a rechargeable battery. It takes up the space of four uh, AA's, so you don't have to use AA's. And then back behind here I've got four uh, CO2 cartridges for my Thunderbees. Then this just folds up real nicely, and then the uh, sides pop back out so that I can wrap it up with one hand. Um, then here I've just got my cold steel training knife. As you can see, you can't really see the hash marks on it, but maybe you can right here. Uh, those are all my knife kills. I just mark it with my pocket knife or a screwdriver every time I get a knife kill. That's just kind of a fun thing. Nothing really mills in there. But like I said, the 48 mile, <coughs> sorry, uh, Midland radio, very nice radio, very crisp transmissions and all that. Sorry, I apologize, it's getting a little dark and you probably can't see everything all the way. But, moving on to the back, it, there's an American flag, 
The American flag will only stay there if I'm playing indoors, just out of respect for the American flag. I wouldn't want to uh, dirty it by, uh, or get it torn and weathered by using it outside or in the rain or something. Then on the back here, I've got a set of uh, bolt cutters, which are just for a look and to keep the weight of the plate carrier there. Then over here, I've got a buddy mag with a P mag, and then just a set of uh, pliers on this is a tactical assault gear 40 ounce hydration carrier which holds my 80 ounce bladder now I just fold the bladder in half so it fits in there and then I put an ice pack in between so it keeps both sides uh, cold and it keeps the uh, cold in then I've got a, just a couple chem lights and then a um, Grimlock holding more Thunderby pins now over here I've got a little thing of med shears or med scissors not shears and then here I've got in a 40 mic mic pouch what's a um, 40 mic mic pouch that holds or that's made to hold the grenades that go in a M320 or, or a M203 uh, you take the little strap off and it fits Thunderbee sound flash grenades perfectly I'm gonna turn the light on not sure if that really helped or not but uh, more than not <laughs> so this is just a uh, the sound flash, if you can still find them, they slip in perfectly. And you can It almost clicks when it fits down all the way into the elastic retention at the bottom. <coughs> then I've got a uh, climbing carabiner there that I use for climbing. I just have a, a thing of tape on there so I can roll, or so I can unroll that if I needed to tape something onto something. Three foot zip tie, two three foot zip ties on the back there. Here I've got a Tokyo Marui 1911, like I said before, I realize pararescue men don't generally use uh, 1911s, but don't comment on that, I understand. And then here I've just got a Black Hawk Serpa holster on a paddle mount. Moving across my front, this is a Condor Riggers belt, or instructor's belt rather, that I can clip into something if I were to need to. I don't really need to because I don't go to those huge milsim operations, but it's there if it was needed. Then over here, I've got a Black Hawk 1911 single stack style uh, mag holder. These are really nice. You can adjust how tight the retention is by the screw here, right there. And uh, the only thing is I need to move this back a little bit so I can clear my first line when I go to reload. Because if I dump the mag, I have to come in at an angle and pop out with the mag. So that's just another thing. And then the dump pouch. Another thing, I realize pararescue men don't use uh, dump pouches, but uh, if you're an airsofter and you just dump your mags on the ground every time and you don't go back and reuse them, well then I would be more than happy to follow you around and pick up your mags. Uh, because that, that's just something that's not practical for airsoft, is just to dump your mag. And it takes way too long to put the mag back in and take another mag out. Plus you lose mag capacity that you can carry. So then I just use... Um, Mechanics Original Gloves, they're great gloves, they feel great, they're warm, you know, if once they get, they don't, they're not waterproof by any means, but they are good gloves. Then the boots I wear are, if you can see that, are Gore-Tex waterproof uh, ABU uniform boots. I got them at Action Surplus Store for 40 bucks, they're like 120 new, so I thought it was a good deal. The patches are a uh, reverse American flag. And then a regular American flag, which is also looking reversed because the American flag never runs away. The American flag always charges towards the fight. That's why they're, they look reversed. So if you were ever wondering that, that's why. A24 is my team number. Inside here I carry a flashlight, which is, the beam is adjustable. So that's really nice for reading documents or whatever because I don't have a helmet light. Hopefully soon I'll have the little wire helmet light. Then I wear a G-Shock on this wrist, reverse so it doesn't get shot out. And then, uh, yes, normally people don't wear American flags on both sides. They wear their call sign or whatever. But I'm going to change that around. Let me know what I should do with that because um, I don't really know what the best way to go about that is. But then here I have an American dust-off patch from Bagram, Afghanistan. My buddy was the, over there. Now, I realize Bagram, or um, not Bagram, I realize that Army dust-off is nothing like Air Force pararescue, but 
I have it there because the games that I play, uh, people recognize this patch as a Matic and whatnot. So thanks guys for watching. Uh, my hat, Condor Multicam hat, has a fishing hook on there because I love to go fishing. American flag, uh, a normal American flag, and a regular guy patch. I want to replace this with the I will support and def defend the Constitution in the United States patch. I really like that one, so I want to put that one right there. And I want to get a Soils May Live patch for Pararescue. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully in this new year that we can get the subs and the likes and everything up. Hopefully more in-game videos to come. All that thanks to the contour. Maybe I'll do some more shooting, some real steel shooting, some stuff like that. So, uh, thanks, guys, for watching. And I uh, hope you guys have a great beginning of your new year. I'm out.